a teacher was captured on video launching into a racist rant in which she berates one of her white students for expressing conservative views and disagreeing with her. However, her boldest move was to issue a threat to her student's parents. Also, if you have not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell notification bell to get inspired by these real life stories every day. Now back to the story. San Marcos high school teacher Alyssa Piro, 39, was recorded going on a disturbing diatribe in which she singles out a male student and racially abuses him in front of his classmates. The confrontation began after Piro warmly announced the creation of an Asian student union, which was questioned by teen student Jace Jonas. My question is in this case, where's the white student union because we need all races for equality? Jace asks before being shouted down by his teacher. You don't need a white student union, Jace. You get everything, Piro yells. The leaked video footage of the California educator's shocking tirade has given parents a glimpse into the average classroom molded by critical race theory, which is becoming the standard for public schools across the nation. The candid student-teacher interaction sheds a spotlight on the psychologically abusive and flagrantly racist principles the curriculum espouses. Pyro's later seen addressing her classroom online, instructing them on what to do if their parents have concerns about her teaching methods. Throughout her rant, she disparages the parents and makes bizarre threats, suggesting that they shouldn't question her teaching because of their intellectual inferiority on the subject of their children's education. If your parent wants to talk to me about their profession and their opinion on their profession, I'd love to hear that. I know very little about anything else in the world other than education, okay? She says. She goes on to say that if parents wish to raise concerns about her approach to teaching, they will be met with hostility because they apparently know nothing about what's best for their children. Just dare them to come at me, because I am so sick to my stomach of parents trying to tell educators how to do their job, Piro threatens. I have never once gone to a doctor's appointment and tried to tell my medical health provider how to treat me. You know why? Because I know nothing about that. I didn't get my degree in medicine. Fox News interviewed Jace Jonas, who says that Alyssa's Pyro's berating of him elicited other students to racially bully him. Just weeks after the interaction, Jace found out that his grade had dropped in Pyro's class, according to Jace's father, Jim Jonas. When Pyro was confronted about the falling grade, she blamed it on a computer error and corrected it. Jace was getting straight A's in school. After that incident, he had a B in that class, Jim recalled. Pyro blamed a computer error and eventually corrected it. I wanted to make a comment in the Zoom text box not disrupting the class. I commented, why do some races get student unions but others do not? We should have a student union for all races or no races for true equality, he explained. She started berating me about how as a white male I get everything and it's my duty to look out for minorities and all these racist remarks against whites and males. She later called me a moron. Fortunately, a female student recorded Piro's behavior and showed it to her mother, who passed it on to other parents. The encounter was then reported to the school, which quickly suspended Piro while conducting an internal investigation. Following Piro's suspension, a former student came forward to confirm that Piro has a history of shutting down critical thinking. The young woman explained that Piro would routinely disparage or fail students who questioned her opinions, especially if she found out that they held a political viewpoint differing from her own. She's a good teacher when she's teaching, but these rants aren't new, she told Fox News. I knew I had to change my political views just to please her and get a passing grade. She'd either yell or fail you or make us feel small for what we believe in. Another mother claimed that Piro was fired from a previous teaching position, but she declined to say why or where the termination took place. Alyssa Piro is one of the countless individuals in the education system who believe that they know what's best for other people's children. As an elitist, she feels the need to aggressively shut down anyone who questions her views, actively discouraging critical thought and rhetoric required for young minds to form their own opinions. Sadly, Piro is just a tiny cog in the education system's machine, tasked with churning out social justice warriors who are incapable of appealing to logic. Luckily, there are still young people like Jace, who haven't been indoctrinated by the public schools, which is why he so easily poked holes in Piro's flimsy claims.